Janice Jaguar here, uh, back for another sophomore guide using the uh, player's handbook. Um, just like before, um, I'm not going to be going over part one with the creating character aspect. I'm assuming that you went and did that on D&D Beyond or you used the paper version. Um, maybe if you really care about that, I can do a video on that later. I doubt you need that. Um, in this uh, sophomore guide, I am going to go over chapter 7, 9, and 10, and I'm going to go over to the few things that I skipped in adventuring that I think are very important um, that I could better use in uh, this tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to go over vision and light. Um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, right? I mean, it's your vision, it's what you can see. Um, there is three states that you need to know about. Think of it as 0, 1, and 2. So you have 0 light, which is known as darkness. This will also be known as heavily obscured. So remember that up here, heavily obscured. Now you also have dim light, which you can think of as 1. Um, this also can be th thought of as lightly obscured light. Um, this will just think of it that way, like put it together, you know, like make those two connections. Um, in dim light, um, some things will not be able to be seen in the same way that you would have bright light, which is normal light, you know, torches, light, uh, fires, lanterns, all that good stuff. Dim light would be some certain uh, levels of moonlight or, you know, uh, twilight time and all that jazz. Darkness is darkness. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, now, when it comes to your actual sight, though, you will have different versions of it. You have your normal vision, which will be, you know, bright light you can see normally. Um, the distance you can actually see overall is whatever. Um, you just, you know, think about it in real life. Like, you can probably see easily a mile away if there was a little flicker of a flame. But that's on a clear, straight line. If you're in a dense forest, you could probably only see a couple dozen feet in front of you. And even then, I think it would be lightly obscured and you would have any disadvantage on, on uh, rolls. Um, we'll get into dis what disadvantage means too, of course, um, in this later in this video. Um, so anyway, you will first, we'll look at, um, so you have regular sight, and then you will have um, what's called dark vision. Um, dark vision is exactly what it sounds like. You can see in the dark. The easiest way to describe it is is that dim light is becoming becomes bright light, and darkness becomes dim light. So, in other words, if you have dark vision, light to you is no less than a one ever. Um, and then you have blind sight which is um, you don't see with actual vision and like the sense of light you end up seeing with other senses like I would say you know obviously echolocation but I, I would even say you can feel it in the ground whatever that's called um, I would even say potentially um, uh, even a uh, kinda like predator I would say kinda ish you know like infrared um, and then you have true sight which is you can see everything and apparently even see into the ethereal plane. Um, I would imagine that's like bees that can see UV light type of deal. Um, then there's also one that's not on here that is called Devil Sight. I am not 100% sure what that's about at the moment. We'll go back to that maybe. Alright, so I just got done looking it up. Apparently uh, Devil's Vision is actually a base of 120 feet of dark vision so essentially it is a better version of dark vision because it actually uh, can see through in spots where there's no light due to because there's literally no light source or a magical um, source is negating the actual light so it can actually see through the darkness spell and I'm going to now demonstrate what this looks like all right, before I demonstrate, I'm going to go over to the uh, few uh, types of light sources. Um, this particular thing is thanks to ArcaneGoods.com. I don't know much about them. Go look them, check them out. Um, essentially, there is the torch, uh, hooded lantern, lamp, and a uh, 
lantern that has a bullseye lantern versus the hooded one. Um, then there's also the candle. Um, so the simple way to read this is we have the lighter colors, dim light, and the actual yellow, yellow is the bright light. So the torch has 20 feet of light, bright light, and 20 feet of additional 20 feet of dim light. So it has an overall 40 of at least dim light, but an additional 20 is actual bright. Um, you can think of the hooded lantern in the same way. It's the 30 of light and 30 of dim light. And then the lamp is 15 of bright and 30 of dim. And then the, the bullseye, which would be like a direct light, would give you 60 feet of bright light and an additional 60 feet of actual dim light. And a candle is a simple 5 feet of bright and 5 feet of darkness, or dim light rather. Um, and apparently you can put the hood down on the hood at one to have just 5 feet of light. But keep in mind, even though you have the hood down to 5 feet, that 5 feet of light could be seen miles away theoretically you know if it's clear enough night and you know it's a like say open field or across a river or something like that now let's go into a virtual tabletop and i'm going to be using uh roll 20 to demonstrate this in the field all right let's visually look at that so this is a demonstration of Raw 20. I'm not going to be fully showing it out. I'm just going to be showing this particular aspect for vision. Um, this obviously is your character, it's your token. Um, I currently have the lamp on him, which gives 15 feet of bright light and an additional, I think it's 30 feet of dim light. Now you notice that I have this gray right here. My particular um, elf or I mean you know elves do have dark vision which is 60 feet so this right here would be the uh, vision that it can see outside of the lanterns light and because it's dark vision everything up until here so the full lamps um, 45 feet is all bright light for if you have dark vision um, the way you can, again, um, the reference, as I was saying in the, the previous shot, you can think of the darkness over here as um, this is darkness, so this is level zero. Um, this is dim light for the dark vision, so this is would be considered one. This would also be dim light for normal vision. This would be bright light for dark vision, so this is level one, but also level, this would be bright light level two for dark vision, and this is level to bright light for everybody. Uh, you can ignore that red. This is a homebrew map that I crudely drew.